The first cranial nerve is the olfactory nerve. This is a purely sensory cranial nerve with a function of olfaction or smell. The structures innervated are the olfactory epithelium via the olfactory bulb. This consists of a series of highly specialized neuronal cells. Bipolar cells in the olfactory bulb project through the cribriform plate high in the nasal cavity. These cells synapse with second order neurons, which project centrally via the olfactory tract. These then travel through to the medial temporal lobes and the ipsilateral amygdaloid bodies where the olfaction processing takes place. Damage anywhere along this tract, including from head injury affecting the cribriform plate or local compression or invasion by base of skull tumors can affect olfaction. In order to examine this nerve, start by asking the patient if they've noticed any alteration in smell. It may be pertinent to also ask if they've noticed any change in their sense of taste. Although the first cranial nerve is involved in olfaction, olfaction has a role in our perception of taste. Next, inspect the, nas the nose externally and internally. Ensure that the nasal cavities are not blocked or obstructed. Commonly, the nose can be blocked from mucus or polyps, which can prevent odors effectively reaching the olfactory nerve receptors. Digitally occlude one nostril at a time and ask the patient to recognize common sense and ask them whether the sense seem normal, reduced or altered. Formally, an upset test can be used. The upset test or the University of Pennsylvania smell identification test is a formal test for smell identification. And the test consists of four different 10 page booklets with a total of 40 questions. On each page, there's a different scratch and sniff strip, which is embedded with a microcapsulated odorant. There are four choices and the patient selects what they believe the scent is. And a score of 40 is uh, achievable. If there's a defect in this, this may suggest early signs of olfaction disturbance. In order to describe olfactory nerve pathology, anosmia is a term used to describe a complete loss of smell. Hyposmia is a reduced sense of smell. Parosmia is a continuous perception of unpleasant odors. Olfactory hallucinations can often uh, occur in focal epilepsies and Alzheimer's is where the patient is perceiving a smell that is not present. And the key causes of olfactory nerve damage include an upper respiratory tract infection, sinusitis, mucus or polyps, which cause blockage, head trauma, which can damage and even shear the olfactory nerve fibers leading to anosmia. And there are some genetic conditions such as Kalman syndrome, which can lead to congenital anosmia as well as infertility. Parkinson's disease, also uh, leads to anosmia. And in fact, anosmia is an early feature of Parkinson's disease. In summary, as a checklist for cranial nerve one, ask the patient if they've noticed any recent changes in their sense of smell or taste, examine with formal sense or the upset test. Thank you for attending this medicine masterclass.